can get a job with an employer and have a great time in it. It doesn't have to be this arduous process of completing a resume and having it be edited and all that. I mean, that, that's part of what you'll have to do. But, um, I mean, the, the kind of techniques we heard, like mailing the coffee cup for an interview, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that the kids are going to talk about with each other and they're going to talk about the success rate of it. And it's just going to create a lot of energy uh, and, and excitement about something that most people really don't like to do. I used to always say the worst part about a job is finding it. I don't believe that anymore. And always remember, the advertised job market is about 15% of the entire market. So if you find 15 jobs for social media pizza maker and pizza hut, there are really, you know, 15, no, that's 15%. There are really 100 jobs available, but only that tip of the iceberg is being advertised. So what you see online is just a tiny portion of what's available. Here you go. So I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Here's the 20. I'll make the 15 later. It is a real $20 bill, and I sold it to him for $15. And he bought it for me for $15. Why? Because he's making five bucks. And this is an important point I want you to remember through everything that we talk about this afternoon. What you have to do as students and career counselors with your students is teach them, we're going to show you some tricks, teach the students how to sell money at a discount. Because that's what they're doing when they go out into the job market. Whether it's the thigh master or the super slicer or the magic bullet or all that stuff. The sham wow. The sham wow. <laughs> I've seen that a guy in other movies. Yeah. It's 50% of other people saying, this is great, I love it, I'm happy. And why is that? Well, it's because that stuff works too. It's because what other people say about a product or a person or a service, it's usually five, there's no way to measure this, but I submit it's ten times more believable than anything you say about yourself. And I can swear to God that's true because I have all my friends phone my girlfriend and tell her how great I was. By the way, when you're doing the interview, you start to ask the employer, and they say, well, you got any questions for me? And we'll talk about the one question. The one question you have to ask, train the students to ask, because this one question will get you five more interviews. There's only one question I want you to train people to ask. It's very simple. You look John or Mary or Sally or Bob straight in the eye and you say, well, I was doing my research and I understand these are your five competitors. Let's go, 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 go. And they'll nod their head. And, and you say, what is it about ABC Company that they're doing that keep your executives up at night. <laughs> and you write. You just listen and write. And you know the answer to this question, or you better know the answer to this question. Because they may just turn it back on you. And they might just the first time, but the second time they won't do it. So you ask that about each one of these five companies. And you say, thank you very much. I look forward to talking to you again. Wherever you want to end this thing. And then you walk out to your car. And you sit in your car. And you know what you do first? Did anybody tell me what the next thing is you do? What's that? No. A good answer, but it's wrong. <laughs> what? Yes, absolutely! What? Oh, stop that! You lost surprised You look surprised that we knew the answer. Yes, I did. There's so many of you. Oh, my God. Yes, you look all the competitors. You say, hi, John, my name is, and I was just in an interview at ABC Corporation, and you know what I found out? It's a bunch of stuff that you're doing that's really keeping their executives up at night. Would you mind having a coffee with me? What's he going to say? Yes. When? <laughs> Five more interviews. They get a thousand.